Okay, so now here we are again, everybody, and we're going to have another. We're going to keep working on this because I'm I'm quite enjoying this actually. So I hope everybody else is. Alexis and Melinda Art Space. Now, um, thank you very much, Alexis and Melinda. And my question is, your my congratulate. What my question is, what is your favourite style, e.g., shabby chic, boho, etc. I do love boho. I really, really do. I love the colours. You, um, I, I, I do like the shabby chic, but I'm definitely a fan of the boho style because I do love the colours. I really love the colours. Okay, Sandra Lewis, um, congratulations. Uh, what is a beautiful children? Thank you very much. Um, do you craft every day? Well, Sue Tyrrell, no, I don't. To be honest with you, I don't. Well... Not every day, but pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have uh, my own sewing place, but I my own room, but I also have a coffee table here that my camera is sitting on, and it is a large coffee table. It actually was a dining room table about thirty years ago, and the legs have been shortened on it, so it's a big coffee table, and it has everything I need to, to sit here and craft to while I'm watching television or just sitting here and so I do probably do something a bit nearly every day there's probably very rarely that I don't um, you know and then I feel bad because I haven't done anything I've always been that way whether I've it's the smallest thing I like to achieve something every day so thank you for that Sue Susan J A C Q U I -E -R. I'm sorry, I can't say your name. Um, well, I just discovered your channel, being a newbie. I'm on a voyage of discovery. I hear you speak and thought, wow, another Aussie. Yay. Oh, that's good, Susan. You're another Aussie. Love your work and so good to hear your lingo. <laughs> Question. It's really strange, you know, because I think I talk this. Yeah, well, we all talk the same, eh? <laughs> we just say things a bit different. Saw another video you did about lace covers and you used a hot glue gun. Does the glue show through on thinner fabric? Yes, it does. As an interior, as an internal liner in a book. Spray glue leaves nasty marks. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, Susan, the glue gun does show through. You have to be very careful. If you get a spot that shows through and it's not too many, put a put a flower on it. Put a flower on it. But your best to um, a lot of people can do it because they can handle the glue gun and they know how much to put on and it's just right and they can do it. But if you put thinner fabric on it, yes, it does show through. And I find if the glue's not the right temperature, if it's not hot enough, it will come undone anyway later on. It comes unstuck. So. I find that if I do any sort of covers, I like to make sure that I put, I use um, this glue here that I've just gone and bought another bottle of, which is that there, and I think that's the best thing to do. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the people that use the um, other glue, but you know what, this is this is meant for everything, and it'll, you just put it on and make sure you put it on like thinly all over, and um, you won't get all those um, lumpy gluey spots you know and if I did and I did that with the glue gun and yes I, I got away with it but I'm not a big fan I find that it's oh I've been a burn myself so it's up to you Susan what do you want to try but if I look you're in Australia so the, this is a Porter Craft glue you might be able to get that it's the brand and it is called um it's a clear drying craft glue and non-toxic and it's for scrapbooking and card making crafts and it does fabric and everything it, it glues all your you know anything you want wood metal and it does it works on all of it i've been using it now for quite a while and i fairly go through it it actually only costs six dollars for that size that's pretty good that's pretty good i can do a fair bit with that i know so when it gets down to about an inch in the bottle you can't really use all that it won't come out forever thanks forever thank you susan and it's nice to meet you um Beverly Hills Crafting Pal, what is your fa my favourite crafting paper? Well, what is my favourite paper crafting? Sorry, uh, junk journaling, I think, definitely, definitely junk journal, Beverly, definitely. 
Uh, zero tolerance. Very good. Okay, shared on Facebook. Thank you very much for you. That. Um, whereabouts do I live in Australia? From Ingrid Lorenzo. Lorenzo. I live in Parks in New South Wales, and that is about oh, four hours from the coast of Australia. On the <laughs> am I on the east coast? I don't know. I can't think of where I am. Oh dear. Anyway, <laughs> I live where it's really hot in the summertime and cold in the wintertime, and we don't. <laughs> anyway, so. Not a very big town, but it's really nice. It's home. Very nice place. I like it. Okay. Door to my journal, Dawn Boss. Door to my journal, Dawn Boss. Um, I, my question is, when did you start the YouTube channel? Did you ever imagine growing to this? No. When I started my YouTube channel, I was really worried that I wouldn't even get 10 people to look at me, you know. I really, really was. And um, great job. Congratulations. I can't wait to see what you share for us in the future yet. Yeah. Well, um, that's really good, Dawn. That must be your name. Um, thank you very much. But no, I had no idea. I used to say to my husband, oh, God, what if nobody wants to watch it or anything? You know, I used to get really worried. And um, But I've had a really good time on here and I've really enjoyed it. It's been really good for me, really good. Um, so thank you to everybody that subscribed to me because this has been a really good thing for me. Karen Shallow. Now, Karen wants to know what my favourite colour is. Oh dear. I think it's got to be green. I really do. Of all the colours out there, I love green. Any tone of green, I do love green. Uh, Annette, Aussie Craft Lady. Annette, uh, how long have I been doing the junk journals? Well, I think only about six months, maybe. Can't think it's been any longer than that. Yeah. Um, do I have any pets? Kathy Munford. Yes, I do, Kathy. I have a red cat. <laughs> and I have my daughter's little dog that she left here. We have one chook that we've had for four five years four no three years the name is Millie and now we have 12 or 14 teenage chickens as my husband calls them that we he hatched from the incubator that he built so now he has all them babies to look after I do love animals except the cat's not very popular with me today but anyway um so thank you very much <laughs> uh opal lace opal lace and her question is, what small thing would you like to get from someone? What small thing would I like to get from someone? I've got no idea. Uh, I've been I've been trying to find myself a hole punched, any <laughs> one inch hole punch. <laughs> um, other than that, I don't really have any any sort of idea about a small thing. Uh, I have lots of small things. <laughs> I don't sort of quite, quite understand that, um, but uh, uh, I'm a bit stuck. Fancy me being lost for words. My my daughter's buying me a thing for me camera, <laughs> a, a, a card for me camera. That's only a small thing. Um, I, I don't. I don't know really what that. What small thing would you like to get from someone? As I'm sorry, I can't really say that. I I know the things that I was. I'm looking for uh, the things that I really still want is a corner punch and a one inch hole punch because my one inch hole punch won't work anymore. And the corner punch I've got silly, it doesn't work for me. So there were things that I was still looking to get anyway for Santa Claus if you didn't still find me anything, but anyway. Okay, so Lottie Faith, this is such a generous giveaway, Sonia. I have included a little bit, of, oh, you have included a little bit of everything in the journal, it's very sweet. Postage so high to the US, 
it is going up five cents at the end of January. I love our postal system and still find it miraculous that I can write an address and send it in a little old card somewhere and it can go around the world. Yes, I know it's very clever. <laughs> Even across the town or state, it's a miracle. With that said, I don't join in many swaps as I'd like to send in as happy mail as I'd like to because I can't afford it. Who is someone who has passed that you would love to spend the day with you if you could? Who has, is somebody that has passed that you would love to spend the day with if you could? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. My nana. My nana. But then I'd be really upset if she went away again. <laughs> Definitely my nana. That would be so good, wouldn't it? To show her what I can do and what I've done. And yeah, she'd be amazed by this. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> but I'd be real upset <laughs> if she went away again, so that'd be scary. <laughs> thank you very much for that question, Lottie. That's your name, is it? Sorry? Oh, yeah. Um, Debbie Brown. Hi, Sonia. Good morning to you. A massive congratulations. My question, who was your first subby? Okay, I think it was one of my daughters, I do. I think my daughter subscribed to my channel first, so that was be my first subby, my, my daughter Peggy. Uh, or it could have been, was it her? Yes, I think so. Um, congratulations on... Shared on Facebook. Who inspired you to start junk journaling? Um, Gail Ostiginelli, Ostiginelli, I think. That's her name. I can't really say it. She might have been one of my inspirations. And then there's also a girl by the name of Luna something. And I have to find. Uh, well, actually, her name's not Luna. It's La. Um, Oh, what's her name? Sure. <laughs> I might have to put that in the description box if I can find it before I will. I'll go find that. And I'll put that up there for you. Um, so it was from Gazelle Giggles. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for that question. Polly N99. Hi, Sonia. Um, I've not been around too much because I've had health problems. A wonderful achievement. I'm just didn't throw this make in some of it. My daughter lives in Queensland. Did she talk to uh I meant bearing in mind where you live. I wonder if you have ever walked on the Oh, I wonder if you've ever walked on or experienced snow. My daughter lives in Queensland and she talks about it all the time. I don't know if it snows that but is it snow in Queensland? Oh I didn't know that. I might do. But anyway, yes I have experienced snow because I went to school in a town about an hour and a half from here and um, we, it snowed. We Actually, I was born here and we came back here when I, I come back here when I was 19. But then I didn't live, I didn't live here till I was, well, I was about eight when I went to Orange to live and I lived in Orange and grew up there and went to school there. And it snowed there and it was cold. It's nice to see, but it's cold stuff, you know. But it's very nice. So thank you, Polly, and that, um, thank you, Carol, I should say. <laughs> For that question that's very good thank you heavenly images um right here that i congratulations my cat's trying to get out the back door if he does he's going to get a shock because the cat and the dog will chase him inside or whatever but anyway um sonia happy for the holidays second i always like hit, put hit on i always hit like on your videos thank you very much I feel I watch a video deserve. I feel if I watch the video, the person deserves a like for me to share their experience and be sharing their experience. Experience. <laughs> I'll get it in a minute for sharing their inspiration with me. My question to you is: What would you share your Christmas? What would you would you please share your Christmas memories or your traditions with us? It would be lovely to hear. Well, my. 
memory as to Christmas, my best one would be when I was little and we went to Grandma's and they had putty and it had sixpences and threepences in it. So that was when, back before 1966, because then we changed over to dollars. So you get a piece of Christmas cake or putty and in that you've got to be careful because you get a threepence or a sixpence. That was really good. My nana had 16 children, 14 which uh, lived long lives, um, and therefore we had a lot of people there at these gatherings. Not everybody every time, but there would be coming and going, and there would be a lot of people there at my nana's. And that was a really good thing. Um, and the traditions, as far as they go, I don't know whether we really have any as much as we do like to have a Christmas lunch. We haven't changed, like most, a lot of people in Australia have barbecues or prawns or things like that for their lunches. We still have, um, we actually have ox tongue, which is beautiful because it's corned and cooked and it's absolutely lovely. Uh, we always have our ham, we always have a bit of turkey. Um, we can't have any sort of baked things because we don't eat, actually eat hot stuff on Christmas day because it's too hot here. To have the oven on and everybody gets flustered and you know there was bad memories as far as when um, <laughs> some family members used to have a drink which we know none of us here do but if it wasn't in the sense past you know there was some times that people get together and do make fools of themselves don't they sometimes but there wasn't too many bad ones I suppose it was mostly good memories for Christmas and I do love Christmas so thank you Paulie's Paulie Paulie for that, um, now, hi Sonia, my, my subby, I shared you on Facebook, my question to you is, what type of art is your favourite to create, what makes you happy? I don't know, I think I look at things, a lot of things, um, as far as artwork goes, there's a lot of creativity in lots of things, but I do, I do love, um, uh, Oh. Well, I do love doing s sewing stuff, I suppose. Anything with embroidery, I guess, is my favourite things. Yep, okay, thank you. Debbie Vignola, congratulations. It's amazing. What is your favourite craft? At the moment, I just said now it was embroidery, but you know what? I do love paper. <laughs> I do love paper craft too. I've got, I got everything. I'm having everything. I'm just, you know, too selfish. Anne Little, how are you, Anne? Um, and what is the one that started you your... My question is, out of all the crafts you do, what is the one that started you loving, your love of crafting? Oh. The one thing that I... that started me... Well, I don't know. You know what I really, what made me do more was showing other people how to do it. When you show other people how to do these things and they do it and you see how they look or feel, it's just absolutely amazing, you know. People just don't understand how they, what they can do. I guess, too, I always seen my mother do lots of different things, so therefore she, you know, sort of in... <sighs> put into my head that if you you know if you can't if you can't buy it or you can't afford it you can make it so it's sort of something that I feel like I love all craft because you know if you want a, something to wear or something to have you can just make it do it but that's probably why I do like it because you can actually do it yourself <laughs> and you think you want to you know uh, so they, I, I don't know if that explained it very good but it, the, the more things I do, too, the more I want to do. The more things I learn, the more I want to learn. So thank you, Ed, for that. I hope that helps you a bit. Um, now, I'm, my hubby's just come through the front door and I'm still talking on here. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's been and bought the bread. So, Deb Hendrick, um, what's... Uh, congratulations. I didn't... I can't, I can't do bring, I have no voice at the moment. I'm listening to you like a, like a little mini book. Do you ever get tired of crafting? 
No, I get fed up and I get cranky sometimes. I get irritated by it and go away, so that's about it. Otherwise, <laughs> good. Thank you, Deb. Um, Roxy Carr, that's Roseanne. Uh, hello, Roseanne. Um, so, I won't read all of these, but I think that you can get to them. My question is, which craft do you we have the most difficulty with and why? Well, mostly the paper crafting. I don't know why, but I just it might be just all in my head. Um, I'm not um, still learning how to do it, which goes with what I think. I'm not sure that... And, uh, yeah, so that's probably it, the paper crafting. I think it might be my... The one I most have difficult with. But anyway, I don't know how long I've been on here this time for. And I don't know how many more questions I've got to go. I might just have a little look and see how far I've got to go. I haven't got that far yet. I should just finish this then. Okay, so thank you, Roseanne. Thank you very much. Carolyn Grant. Now, hello, Carolyn. How are you? Uh, she said, don't enter me in the giveaway. Okay. She just wants to wish me a Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, Carolyn. Uh, Pip Field. Sorry, can't do a VR. Love your journals. Pendies, ladies and birds, my favourite. Um, uh, congratulations on your subject. I don't think there's a question there. I love your little journal. Pendies, ladies and birds, my favourite. Serendipity. Serendipity. Um, what was the first craft that you remember really enjoying doing? To do and still do that craft. I really do like doing stump work things. Really do like doing stump work things still to now, you know. Um, don't know if I've had another, you know, I've done a lot on here, but I do like, really love doing that. Um, so thank you very much uh, to Jane. Okay, so Karen. I'd like to know how I got into crafting. I guess it just was something that I did because somebody, a lot of, a lot of um, mum did it. Oh well, she did some sort of things and um, family around me were doing it and I just wanted to learn things. I'd see it and wanted to do it so therefore that's how I started. If I see something I want to learn to do it, to do with crafting anyways. What's my favourite type of craft? And Tamara, I think it might be paper crafting. <laughs> I'm shocking that I'm changing my mind every time. <laughs> it's between the two, I just like it all. Somebody said, I've seen your craft room. Oh, Shabby Monique has seen my craft room. <laughs> she said she loves it. <laughs> my question is to you, have you organised your craft room now? Well, yes, but no. It gets there and it comes undone. You can't craft and stay clean, uh, tidy. It's just not possible. I don't, I don't know how anybody could possibly do that because if I need to find something, I need to find it, and I can't really stop to put it back. I just got to keep going. So Ingrid said, "I wish happiness, Sonia. Thank you very much, Ingrid." And Beatles friend Sonia. Beatles fan Sonia. My name is Sonia too. I never run into another person with that name for most of my life, but since the internet, I have come across several. Yes, I do remember. And says, do you, did your mother ever tell you who she named, why she named you Sonia, and how did you, how did she decide on the spelling? Well, she told me that she named me after the ballerina, I think. Her name was Sonia, something or other, and she was a ballerina. She was a ballerina. I'm sure she was. Something I could <laughs> never do, and I don't know how she decided on spelling my name with a Y instead of an I. Sonia, I've got the no idea. There's a lot of, when I was young, I never run across anybody with my name. And not until I got a lot older did I find that there's a few ladies in the town now with the same name as mine. But there wasn't before, but now there is, and a few, a fair few on, on the internet. Hi, Sonia. I'll be posting a VR today. My question is to you, this is from, oh, sorry, Sarah Shabby Sheep Creations. And, um... My question has been your top three favourite projects you have made. Now that's going to be tricky. Uh, question is, well, um, 
my favourite projects would probably be um, the, the piece of the wall hanging I did I talked about in the first video and um, a couple of uh, one of my um, stump work pieces that I probably should show you and oh, I like my last journal and what I'm making now I do really like that so that would be one of my favourites <laughs> thank you very much Sarah uh, Lisa Jane A2 Blame Journaling um, thank you for your chance to win your journal I liked your video and I shared it um, people a lot of people haven't asked me a question and that was really a part the main part of this um, thing was to have asked me a question so I hope when I go through them and somebody wins that they've asked me a question um, congratulations to 8000 subbies um, my question did you ever come this is from Pinky Noble did you ever come did, did there ever come a time that your project got lost or destroyed and you cried over it yeah <laughs> I read this other day and I thought oh yeah I remember this now I can't find it at the moment either but years ago I did a three dimensional frog right now I had the picture of the frog and I had to colour him all in, right, with the, with the, with the, um, oh, with the needle and cotton, like, making the frog. Because he was going on a tree that I did in this st st stump work picture. And he had to be cut out, and then he's be placed under the tree, and then you stuff him, right? You put the stuff in, and he sits out, and he, and he looks really good, you know, because he sits up, you know. I did my frog and I lost my frog before I got it on the tree I lost it and I really 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 was upset I even feel stressed now thinking about it <laughs> it was a lot of work and I was really proud of it and I lost it and I probably did, did shed a tear or two over that because I couldn't find it and then one day, he was just there. I don't remember where I found him, but I did. I found him. And at the moment, I don't even know where that picture is. It should be on the wall, on one of my walls somewhere. It's probably in the hallway on the wall. I'll have to have a look and find that. But, yeah, I did. That did happen. So thank you, Pingy. For <laughs> that did happen. And I'd, if I sat here and think about... Um, and I could have found, I could think of another time, but I don't know if I have got another thing because that thing comes straight to mind that I lost that little frog. But anyway, I found him again. So um, thank you very much for that. Um, now, Karen Brake, I would like to know which holiday do you like crafting projects the most? I think my favourite one is Easter. I do. I really think my favourite one is Easter. I didn't actually do anything this year, I don't think. Uh, I don't mind Christmas. Christmas has always been a big thing for me, though, because I used to make a... I did a manger at the front where I put the nativity scene, where I put all the Mary and Joseph and everything in this great big um, tin shed thing that Jeremy made for the driveway, and I used to dress the people up and... It was a big job, and then I fix up all the decorations for inside. But I think the most, my most favourite one is the Easter one, even though I've done a lot more for the Christmas ones. In Milford, congratulations. My question: What craft project have you got planned in the new year? What craft? I really, really, really want to do more um, uh, journals. I will do more um, on my uh, gypsy journal. I will finish that. And I'm going to do more slow stitching because I really like that. Um, I really enjoy the slow stitching. And so anything new that I can come up with, I'll be doing. <laughs> I hope to put up more tutorials. 
Uh, this year has been very, um, health-wise hasn't been very good for me, but I've got to keep up with this because it makes you feel so much better. So, Ian, I hope to be doing a lot more things and sharing a lot more with you. Okay, so thank you. Anita Mitchell, what is my favourite craft? At the moment, it is definitely junk journals. <laughs> Uh, Norma, I don't know if you've got a question there, let me see. Um, what are your kitten's names? I've only got one, and his name is Minky. At the moment it's mud because he's in the way that I'm not speaking to him. <laughs> oh dear, it's really hard, you know, they hurt your feelings, them animals, you know, because you treat them like your children. And, you know, if you don't listen to me, it's because cats don't, it really hurts my feelings. Okay? So that's it. Thank you, everybody, for all these wonderful questions. I'll just have a check up here. I don't know if this is a new one. It might be, it might not be. I'll just have a look. No, I don't think so. It's probably something somebody else has put up, and I've got a notification for it. It is. So anyway, I hope to have this up today sometime for you to look at so thank you everybody for watching and i will talk to you later bye, -bye.